candles are burning the night Yeah, you are a shining light You let it touch me in tonight Yeah, you are a shining light Yeah, you light up my life You've always been a phone in the side But to me you're a shining light You're right How's it going folks? This is Wayne Art, back with another lesson and as always we've got another classic today, Ash and Shining Light. Uh, great cover version of this by Annie Lennox also if you want to check that out. Um, it's not a beginner song, there is quite a lot of uh, you know bar chords that are going to be used in this. Uh, but don't let that put you off, if you are getting into bar chords, you know, give it a go. Uh, it, this is a great song, it's even got a key changer which we'll, we'll go to a bit later in the song. But uh, without further ado... Let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning. And first of all, the chords that are going to go around for the intro, also going to carry through the verse, are a D. We're going to go with G. Back to the D. It's up to you what G you use. I personally favour the four finger G, you know. So we got the D. G, D. Then we've got a B minor. G, back to D again. That's going to go around again. So we've got the D. G, D. B minor, G, D. With the words, Roman candles are burning the night. Yeah, you are a shining light. Goes again. You let it touch me in tonight. Yeah, you are a shining light. And at this point, we go back to the B minor, G, D. So he does that at the end of the verse, second verse. You've always been a thorn in the side, but to me. Shining lights You're right And the night is alive Yeah, you are a shining light We go back to the B minor Yeah, you light up my life Okay, so that's pretty much your intro, uh, intro and your verses uh, Then we go into the chorus um, So the chorus will be a D A, a B minor An F sharp minor, then we go to a back to a G. F sharp minor, G, and then we've got an A. I think it's nice at this point to put an A sus4 in. So that's just moving your third finger across from the A chord to the third fret on the B string. Then back to the A. So we go again, so we've got the D, B minor, F sharp minor, G. F sharp minor, G, A, A sus4 back to the A. Okay, so that all goes around again. We've got a verse and a chorus. After the second chorus, we've got this little uh, bridge part, which I'll just play it first and I'll explain it after. So we've got a. These are the days you often say, there's nothing we cannot do. Okay, so what I'm doing there, I'm doing a B minor, a B major 7, so we've got to form that A major 7 shape, and then we're going to do an A minor 7 shape, so we've got a B minor 7, and then I go to an E7, now there's different ways that you can play an E7, I'm just doing the two fingered one, that would be like an E chord, take the third finger off, and we've got an E minor to an A. That repeats E minor to an A. Okay, so with the words we got really slowly. These are the days you 
often say There's nothing you cannot do If it cannot be your stars I'd shed my blood for you Okay, then we've got this little interlude part which is a, a little guitar solo that basically goes around the chorus chord so that would be a D B minor F sharp minor G F sharp minor a G and then we got an A that A sus 4 okay and then we've got the chord change for the last chorus oh, I love a chord change so a little bit more tricky there so we're going to start off with an E flat so E flat a C minor a G minor to an A flat a G minor to an A flat and then we're going to go to a B flat Okay, quite tricky that part. Like I say, you've got to get on top of your bar chords to get this this song down. There's more to it than you think. Um, but if you want to do it this way, obviously, like I say, you've got to get your your bar chords down. Okay, so that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song. So that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. Uh, now, I, was, I tend to improvise a little bit and sort of mix it up as I go along. But one that will keep you going will be a down. So. A So we're down, down, up, down, up, down, up on all the chords that sort of go for a bar. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up. So on the half bar chords, down, down, up. So we get a... Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that. Uh, a great Ash tune, and I actually think that's the first Ash tune that I've done as well. Um, and they were a great band of the 90s, you know, uh, along the Britpop era. Um, obviously, a lot of bands in the 90s got sort of overshadowed by Oasis. Uh, no problem with that. I'm a huge Oasis fan, but there was a lot of other great bands around at the time as well. And, and Ash were one of them that just sort of, you know, we're in, we're in the background at the time. And I think this actually still going, so, um, you know, great band. And this is a great song, and I urge you to listen to the, the Annie, Annie Lennox uh, cover version of this too. That is also, you know, a great version. So not an easy one to get down, but, you know, worth the effort, a great song. So there we go. Hope you all dug that. If you've got any other, you know, requests for anything 50s to modern day, not just Ash songs, maybe if you, if you like more Ash, you know, you could leave a comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days on social media. So on Wayne Arguitar on Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like or a follow on those platforms anyway. But that way, if you want to, you can send me a message requesting a song. And I do always reply to messages. Just got to respect, as I always say. I do get, you know, quite a lot of requests. So I do have to hemp hit them a little bit. But don't let that put you off. Please do keep them coming. That's what keeps this channel going. Thanks for your continued support. Thanks everyone who subscribed and continues to do so. It really means a lot. Uh, another way that you could help me out. Obviously, like this video. Uh, hit the little notification bell that's down there somewhere so every time I post a video up you're going to get notified so you can get on it straight away uh, and another way is you know please share my videos please tell your friends about me if you know anyone who's uh, you know wants to, a little bit of inspiration who's been playing guitar for a while or even if they're a total beginner you know a work colleague or anything like that word of mouth is a powerful thing so I'd really appreciate that so that just leaves me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon Take care.